Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to collect payments through your forms with Stripe while using the free version of WP Forms, otherwise known as WP Forms Lite. If you'd like to receive payments for things like goods and services, donations, and more through your forms, you can seamlessly integrate them with a popular payment processor like Stripe through our add-on. Before you do anything, you'll first want to make sure that you already have a Stripe account set up. If not, you can head over to stripe.com to get started. Additionally, it's important to know upfront that there is a 3% fee for every transaction along with Stripe charges if you're using Stripe with WP Forms Lite. If you'd like to avoid the transaction fee, you can do so by upgrading to a WP Forms Pro license. With that said, let's get to it. After you've installed and activated the WP Forms Lite plugin, you'll first need to connect to your Stripe account. Go to WP Forms, Settings, and click on the Payments tab. On this page, you'll see a few settings you need to configure. You can first choose your currency type, and below that you'll find the settings for Stripe. You'll first see a blue button labeled Connect with Stripe, and below that will be a toggle for test mode. You can decide to enable test mode to first submit and receive test payments on your site before going live. If you decide to do so, you can click on the test mode toggle and then click on the connect with Stripe button and complete the connection process. However, when you're ready to begin accepting real payments, you'll need to come back here and disable test mode and go through the connection process again. For now, let's go ahead and connect our site to accept test payments. Click on the connect with Stripe button and you'll be redirected to the Stripe Connect wizard where you'll need to authorize your Stripe account. Log into your account, then fill out the following form with your details to connect it. Once you've completed this process, you'll be redirected to the Payments tab in the Settings page of WP Forms. Instead of the blue button, the connection status will now display a green check mark, letting you know WP Forms is now connected to your Stripe account. You should also see a new setting called Enable Webhooks. Stripe uses webhooks to synchronize events that occur in your Stripe account from an external source. So by configuring these webhooks in WP Forms, you can view real-time updates from your payment forms in the WordPress admin area. You can click on the toggle to enable this, and these will automatically be configured if you have versions 1.8.4 or higher of WP Forms. If you run into any issues with this, you can find our written guide on how to set up Stripe webhooks linked in the video description below. Now that your Stripe account is connected, we can head into the Form Builder to set up our form. In the Form Builder, you'll now be able to use the Stripe credit card field found in the Payment Field section on the left, so click and drag it into your form. Afterwards, click on the Settings tab on the left, and under the General tab, click on the Advanced section on the right, and click on the toggle called Enable Ajax Form Submission. This setting needs to be turned on in order for Stripe to work properly. Next, click on the Payments tab on the left and click on the Stripe tab. Here you'll see two toggles, one for one-time payments and the other for recurring payments. You can only use one payment type at a time, so let's go over the settings for both just to learn more about them. First, you can enter a payment description, which will tell you what this payment is about. This is also what will appear on a user's credit card statement, so be thoughtful when writing a description. Next. Choose the email field from the Stripe Payment Receipt dropdown. This tells Stripe to send the receipt to whatever email address a user writes in the email field of your form. In the Customer Email Field dropdown, select the email field again. This is optional, but recommended. In the Custom Name dropdown, select the name field from your form. Again, this is optional, but recommended. In the Recurring Payments section, first create a title for the recurring payment plan. This name will appear on the Transactions page for this form in your Stripe account. Below that, select how often you'd like for this recurring payment to occur. And just like in the One-Time Payment section, select the email field from both the Customer Email dropdown and the Name field from the Customer Name dropdown. Once you're done configuring your settings, save your changes. Once the payments start coming in, you can view them by going to the WordPress dashboard and going to WP Forms, then Payments. On this page, you'll see a graph and a table of all of the payments you've collected across your payment forms. At the top of the graph, you can toggle between test data and live payments. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up and use Stripe payments with WP Forms Lite. 
If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra technical help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team.